In this problem, we're told a worker pushing a 35 kilogram wooden crate at a constant speed for 12 meters along a wooden floor does 355 joules of work by applying a constant horizontal force of magnitude F sub zero on the crate. Determine the value of F sub zero. If the worker now applies a force greater than F sub zero, describe the subsequent motion of the crate, and then describe what would happen to the crate if the applied force is less than F sub zero. So let's go ahead and start with A. And so A, what we're trying to solve for is F sub zero, right? And so the way, right, so notice what we're given. We're given work, we're given a distance, and we're given a mass. So what pops into my head is we know work is equal to force times distance times the cosine of theta, right? So if we want to solve for force, we need work and distance, right? And that's exactly what we're given. We're given the work, we're given the distance it travels, and we can just use that to solve for the force, right? And so keep in mind theta in this case. Theta is the angle between the direction it's going and where the force is being applied. And so we know the force is horizontal, and it's traveling horizontally, meaning the angle between the two is just going to be zero because they're on top of each other. So the cosine of zero is just one. So it's really just the force, right? So if we want to solve for the force, we just have to divide by the distance, right? So force is going to be the work, which is 350 joules, right? And then you're going to divide by the distance, which the distance it travels is 12. So 350 divided by 12, uh, you're going to get the force is equal to 29.16666 and so on. I'm just going to round to 29.2. Make sure you round how your teacher wants you to. But 29.2, it's going to be newtons, right? Because we're using joules and meters. So 29.2 uh, newtons, that's going to be F sub zero. Now for B and C, uh, right? So keep in mind. So B is going to be, if the worker applies a force greater than F sub zero, describe the subsequent motion of the crate. So notice that it's traveling at a constant speed, right? With this force. So if the force becomes greater, what do you think is going to happen, right? It's going to accelerate because our force is greater. It's going to push it. And so it's going to accelerate and go faster, right? But for C, right? So I guess you could say it's going to accelerate, right? And so for C, right, think about C, we're, we're decreasing this force. So if it's traveling at a constant speed and then we lower the force, then it's going to start decelerating, right? It's going to accelerate in the opposite direction, right? So you can write that down. But essentially, if you raise the force, it's going to accelerate. If you lower the force, F sub zero, it's going to decelerate. But yeah, so that's essentially your answers to B and C. But yeah, so this was your answer to A, and then I explained B and C. But yeah, hopefully you found this useful.